cooking is the ultimate necessity in the Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King. I've got the best possible guide to get your cooking max out as quickly and efficiently as possible. Also, stay tuned for a secret tip to make a lot of gold while you're leveling your cooking. You're not going to want to miss it. What's up, pumpers? Jerome here with another Classic WoW TBC video. Today, we're going to max out your cooking as quickly as possible. We'll go from one to 375 in around two and a half hours. All right, so before we get started, let's go over some essential cooking tips you need to know. First off, there's a lot of different options for every level range. So if your first choice isn't available, maybe it's too expensive, you can always go for a second option. Secondly, you can buy most of the recipes we'll be going over in this guide on the auction house, but you will be spending a lot more gold to do this. Personally, I like going to each vendor and there's a reason for that that I'll get into later in this guide that will make you a whole lot of gold. The third essential tip you need to know is that fishing goes hand in hand with cooking. If you level up your fishing at the same time as you're cooking, you'll save a whole lot of gold because you can use those fish for cooking recipes to level up quickly and efficiently. All right, so to get started, we'll need to head to a cooking trainer. Personally, I'll be going to Zamja in Orgrimmar. There's cooking trainers in every single major city, so just pick the one that's most convenient for you, the one closest to the auction house, the one closest to the flight pass. Personally, the Orgrimmar one works really well for me. To get started, we'll be going from one to 40 cooking. From one to 40 cooking, we'll be making 60 spiced bread. That's going to require 60 simple flour and 60 mild spices. You can buy these from the vendor right next to your cooking trainer. Next up, we'll be going from 40 to 80 cooking. From 40 to 80 cooking, we'll be making 40 smoked bear meat. The smoked bear meat recipe is available at two different locations, depending on if you're Horde or Alliance. For Alliance, the smoked bear meat recipe is available from Drac Rough Cut at Thelsimar and Loch Modan. Meanwhile, for Horde, the smoked bear meat recipe is available from Andrew Hilbert at the Sepulcher in Silver Pine Forest. The Burning Crusade has added some new options for Blood Elf and Draenei characters, and these options will work for your other characters as well. There's two new recipes at low levels that are extremely powerful. There's the Bat Bites recipe and the Crunchy Spider Surprise recipe. The Crunchy Spider Surprise recipe for Alliance is available from Fazu and the Ghostlands. Meanwhile, for Horde, the Bat Bites and Crunchy Spider Surprise are available from Master Chief Moldier in Ghostlands. I highly recommend these recipes, especially the Bat Bites recipe for Horde. It is so much cheaper than going any other option. At level 75, we'll be learning journeyman cooking from our trainer. This will get us all the way up to 150 cooking. From 80 to 110 cooking, we'll be making 30 boiled clams. Keep in mind, however, if you've been making that crunchy spider surprise or the bat bites, those are still a great option here. And you'll probably save a lot of gold as well. To make our 30 boiled clams, we'll need 30 clam meat and 30 refreshing spring water. For both Alliance and Horde, the boiled clam recipe comes from your cooking trainer. From levels 110 to 130, we'll be making 30 crab cakes. Alternatively, if you want to just keep going with the boiled clams or the crunchy spider surprise or the bat bites, these are great options. They will turn green. Cooking something when it's green for a skill up is still a viable option, especially if it's way cheaper than an option that might be yellow or orange. At this point, it's a good idea to purchase the book to learn expert cooking to go from 150 to 225. Even though you're only 130 right now, you can still get that book and get it set up. For Alliance, you can purchase the book from Shandrina and Ashenvale at the Southern Lake. Meanwhile, for Horde, you can purchase the book from Wulan in Desolus at Shadowprey Village. Alternatively, if that's too much time for you, you can always go to the auction house. From 130 to 175 cooking, we'll be making 50 curiously tasty omelets. Those omelets will require 50 raptor eggs and 50 hot spices. Thankfully, raptor eggs should be very cheap on your server. 
This recipe is available for Alliance from Kendor Kabanka in Stormwind City. For Horde, the recipe is available from Kina in Arathi Highlands. From levels 175 to 225 cooking, we'll be making 50 Roast Raptor. Our 50 Roast Raptor will require 50 Raptor flesh and 50 hot spices. For Alliance, you can purchase the recipe from Hammond Karn in Arathi Highlands. Meanwhile, for Horde, you'll be purchasing from the exact same NPC as before, Kina in Arathi Highlands. For Horde, it's definitely recommended you bring the raptor eggs and the raptor flesh at the same time so you can knock both these out at the exact same time. If you've gotten this far, congratulations, you're now 225 cooking, which means you get to do a quest. This quest will unlock 225 to 300 cooking, aka artisan cooking. For Alliance, the quest starts at Daryl Ricknewson in Ironforge, and for Horde, the quest starts at Zamja in Orgrimmar. You'll need to complete the quest Clamlet Surprise to get Artisan Cooking unlocked. You'll need to bring three separate items to Dirge, Quick Cleave, and Gadgetsan. You'll need to bring 12 Giant Eggs, 10 Zesty Clam Meat, and 20 Alterac Swiss. Once you've started the quest and gotten all the items, head down to Dirge, Quick Cleave, and turn in the quest, and you'll unlock Artisan Cooking. From 225 to 250 cooking, we'll be making 25 Undermine Clam Chowders. 25 Undermine Clam Chowders require 50 Zesty Clam Meat and 25 Ice Cold Milk, which you can easily purchase from an innkeeper. For both Alliance and Horde, this recipe comes from Jabby and Tanneris. From levels 250 to 285, we'll be making 40 Juicy Bear Burgers. 40 Juicy Bear Burgers will require 40 Bear Flanks. For Alliance, you can purchase this recipe from Malagin in Felwood. Meanwhile, for Horde, you can purchase this recipe from Bale in Felwood. From 285 to 300 cooking, we'll be making 15 Baked Salmon. Our 15 baked salmon will require 15 raw white scale salmon. For Alliance, this recipe comes from Viviana in Feralis. For Horde, this recipe comes from Shindra Tallgrass in Feralis. By this point, you should be 300 cooking if you've been following the guide. It's time to share a really powerful tip that's going to make you a lot of gold from all of your hard work. If you buy extra recipes from these vendors, you can sell them on the auction house for very good profit. A lot of people are not going to want to go to these NPCs and purchase the recipes. You can go out and buy extra copies of the books, extra copies of the recipes, and then sell them for 20 times what you paid for, and people will pay for it. Everybody needs to level their cooking, and they'll do it as quickly as humanly possible. If you go out and get those recipes, you can make huge profit. So it's a really good idea to profit off of people that are going to panic buy these recipes. Before we get into the 300 to 375 leveling, please hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, and click that notification bell. Once you're 300 cooking, we can head to the Outlands and buy a Master Cookbook. The Master Cookbook will unlock 300 to level 375 cooking. For Alliance, you can purchase a Master Cookbook from Gaston in the Inn in Honor Hold. Meanwhile, for Horde, you can purchase a Master Cookbook from Baxter in the Inn in Hellfire Peninsula. From levels 300 to 325, we'll be cooking 30 Ravager Dogs. Our 30 Ravager dogs will require 30 Ravager flesh. For Alliance, you can purchase this recipe from Sid Lombardi in Hellfire Peninsula. For Horde, you can purchase this recipe from Cookie One Eye in Hellfire Peninsula as well. From levels 325 to 355, you have three different options. You can cook 40 Talbuck steaks, you can cook 40 roasted cleft hoofs, or you can cook 40 warp burgers. For Alliance, the Talbuck Steak Recipe and Roasted Cleft Hoof Recipe are sold by Yuriku in the Grand. Meanwhile, the Warp Burger Recipe for Alliance is sold by Supply Officer Mills. For Horde, the Talbuck Steak and Roasted Cleft Hoof Recipes are sold by Nula the Butcher in the Grand, and the Warp Burger Recipe is sold by Innkeeper Grilka. From levels 355 to 375, we have two different options. We can cook 60 Crunchy Serpents or 60 Mock Nathal Short Ribs. For Alliance, the Crunchy Serpent and Mocknathal Short Rib recipes are sold by Sasa Weldwell and Blade's Edge. Meanwhile, for Horde, these two recipes are sold by Zarintha Raven Oak and Blade's Edge. Thanks so much for watching. By now, you should be an absolute wow cooking master with 375 cooking. I want to ask you what your absolute favorite wow profession is. Personally, I absolutely love cooking and fishing. Just such a great relaxing break from the rest of the game. Did you like this video? 
If you did, I have an optimal daily farming route that incorporates cooking and fishing in as well to make you free gold from those professions you just maxed out.